guys, Deb here with Art and Grace. Come on in, let's do our happy hour on this Monday. I'd love for you guys to check in, let me know how your weekend was. I saw some of you guys yesterday and I appreciate you being with me. Let's see if I can move my head and you can see the little Christmas sign that we made. And it was all using basically Dollar Tree items that were sent to me for Maddie's Mystery Box Challenge. It was really fun. So if you did not see it, it's a fun one to at least scrub through. You can go real fast and see what we did. I'm going to pull this up. Hello, guys. Hi, Christy. I'm so glad you're here live with me. I love having my friend on. I know you have been getting so much done around your house, and I'm happy for that. But I miss you. So glad you guys are coming on in. I see some of you popping in. Let me know where you're watching from and all the things. Hello, Leanne. Hi, Sherry. You made it. I'm the one late. I don't really have a reason. Just I lose track of time. I'm working and working. This has been one of the busiest days. It's just been nonstop messages, phone calls, all kind of things going on. And, you know, trying to work in between. When you get sidetracked, you're like going back and, oh, geez, it's just been busy, busy. Hi, Becky. Hello, Cheryl. Hi, Sheila. Glad y'all are here. Hi, Donna. I love saying hi as you come in. I literally feel like I'm like, come on in, like you're coming in the front door or something. Hello, hello. Oh, thank you, Caroline. I appreciate that. I'm glad y'all are here. I um, Hi, Valerie. I got your cards today. I haven't opened them, but I got the package. I'm excited. We are in our private group. Y'all can let us know if you're watching and you're a VIP, but in our private group, we are making cards to go along with what Totally Dazzled is doing, sending them to the military troops. And it's been really fun to see you guys' creations, not just in my group, but everybody that's doing it. And guys, now we have an opportunity to send them to our friends, Randy and Beth and their family. So you know hop on that train if you would like to you can message a creator if you don't see their address somewhere most of us have it we don't you know i don't know that they're posting it just everywhere they may be but anyway let us know if you want to send a card and we can help you um i know christy we're well that's okay girl we all have those periods where we're just busy busy with life hi cheryl hi diana and jerry yes you are from texas hi lydia Okay, I think I caught most of you guys, and I'm sorry if I didn't say hi to you, but hi, Linda Sue. Hi, Levita. Thank you for the stars. Oh, my goodness. Um, if you've said hi and I didn't see you, I'm sorry. I will go back and look. But So, well, let's take a sip. It's watered-down lunch drink. So, nothing fancy, but it's just half tea, half lemonade. Kind of, kind of watered. So, I want to show you guys something I was thinking about. Tell me if you make ornaments, because I think it was yesterday doing the crafty stuff. I kind of got in the mood to make some ornaments out of wood and things that I already had. You know, I'm always looking around to see what I have that I can use before I just go buy something new. So I'm going to show you guys several ideas. Y'all can like kind of tell me what you want to see me do, because I have a lot of options. So I've got, obviously I've got my stir sticks. Can y'all see the table well? Let's see if we need to turn that down. Um, stir sticks, I have this little cutting board. So if you guys, um, and this doesn't have to be ornaments because obviously these are large, but ornaments is what was on my mind. So the first thing I did was pull the little wood circles and then I pulled this. I started just kind of pulling some things. I pulled my little Jenga blocks or whatever they're called, tumbling towers you get at the Dollar Tree. Um, these are just little wood blocks that, you know, you can get there, and there's a lot in a package. I pulled those, obviously these round things together. It kind of, I pulled this, and I kind of started, for some reason, my mind went to this being a nose. So, my first thing was put it on here. That seemed really big. It would still work, though. But are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? I don't know if y'all's mind thinks the way mine does, but, oh, hi, Sheila. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's so cold. It's chill. It's it's cooler here today. I'm so loving it, y'all. We're loving the cooler weather. So y'all let me know. Yeah, I know you do, Christy. You make a lot of things. Mary, we're deciding. So you help us. Um, but do y'all see, like, if you added little um, sticks, how we could make this look? Yes. You see? That's all you have to do and you get the vision. Um, hi, Colleen. 
And with the stir sticks, you know, you just put it down here at the bottom and that would be the nose and we could attach these sticks. So that's where my mind was going is doing something with Rudolph or, you know, reindeer just for fun. You know, these little things I do on here are mostly so that we can chit chat together, have fun, check in, see how everybody's doing. Um, snow flurries tonight, Luana. Where are you again? Remind me what state. Oh my goodness, that is freezing. Hello, Vicki Martin. Um, thank you, Veronica, for sprinkling. Hi, Tracy. And hi, Elizabeth. I hope I've said hi to most of you guys. Um, so, do y'all want to see anything in particular? Is any of this kind of like, ooh, I've got that. I also, I don't know if any of y'all have seen these at Hobby Lobby. I got them last year, and they come in a roll. And they're all rolled up, but they're these little wood pieces. They're all attached on the back. But I have just cut a few apart. Um, I've used them in different projects here and there. I mean, I don't know what people are buying them for. I just use them however I need them at the time. Um, yeah, I know you're not, but you're getting your house ready, so that's good. But I also thought you could even make a little Rudolph out of these and make little ornaments. I tell y'all a lot that I'm always thinking of things you can do for kids, grandkids, or give to a group, or to your neighbors, or to your church friends. And these would be precious, I think, if you make them into Rudolphs. I know that's a tiny little button. You guys might have a bigger button that would be cuter. I had a white one that we could paint, but, um, and look at my nails. Ugh, I'll, I'll fix them up, y'all. They're terrible right now. But cute fence, well, yes, that's probably what they're for, Mary, but you know, I just use them for whatever I need. And I have these little half beads. So you get the idea that you can take what you have and take pieces from other projects and find ways to use them. And I'm thinking that we can make some cute things. Would anybody want to see kind of a series on ornaments? So like every Monday we do a couple of ornaments and give you guys ideas. Cause I was thinking that would be fun. Hi Tarita, I'm glad you're here and made it. Yes ma'am, how's your weather today? Northern Ohio, Lori says. Oh, well, thank you. I just, it just, it, I think it's resourcefulness, you know, because you find things, like I've picked these up at Michael's on clearance, and I think they have them all the time. I don't know why they were on clearance, but just a package of circles. So then I pull them out, and that would make a good nose, right? Or you could do a read-off on this. So lots of options. Let's just get going. We'll kind of, we'll just do a couple and see what you guys are feeling or not feeling. Um, Monday ornaments. Okay, awesome. I think that would be fun and you guys can even, maybe I'll make a post of ornaments like on Mondays and you guys can put your ideas under there and maybe I'll pick one, you know, pick one out of there. But yeah, okay, cool. Just wanted to see if you guys would be into that. So first thing I'm going to do is just hot glue a little craft stick on the back of these Oops, that's the front. I need the words on the back. Or that, you know, it's like a ruler on the back of these sticks. So let me get these situated again and glue this down. I hope y'all are having a good Monday. And I hope y'all aren't tired of me if you watched me yesterday. I don't ever go live on Sunday. Only, I think only two times in the whole two years I've been doing this. Hello, Trisha. How are you? Thank you guys for sprinkling. Snow flurries, Linda Sue. Gosh. Orna Mondays. Oh, Mindy, what a cute idea. Love it. Y'all could even, if you have kids that want to watch or, you know, we could even include them somehow. Fun stuff. There's been a couple of people that say their kids like to watch me or will, you know, be in the room and say something about is that the lady that paints upside down i think that's so cute so if they're in the room you tell me and we'll do a shout out or something did you post sundays in the showcase did you post sundays in the showcase we did not do anything when you mean when we had a group in there that was presenting is that what you mean because no we never did do things on sunday in there I try to give, I try to be the example and give you guys, give everybody the day to kind of rest, catch up, do what you need to do. 
um, and not, I kind of like to kick off the week on Monday and just feel like, hey, Monday, we're back in the swing of things. That's my, that's my thought. But I know there's lots of creators that still go on, on Sunday, but your careers took me out today. It was a lovely day. Your, oh, your caregivers did. I'm so glad. Is that what you mean? Your carers took you out today? I don't know if that's what you mean, but I'm glad you got out into the good weather because, yes, it was gorgeous. It is gorgeous. You just did a crap. Oh, how sweet, Trisha. You need to show us a picture. How's the seal? And I saw you yesterday in the comments anyway. Sometimes I don't see you guys live or I, if I saw your name, I forgot. You know, like I don't remember if I said hi or not. But when I go back and look at the comments, I'm always like, oh, good. She was there, you know. No pressure ever. But I do know, you know, like I... I'm still small enough I can go through and read every comment and it's you know kind of fun to see who who got to be there and no pressure y'all because there's too many of us you can't watch all of us I know that so I don't say it to like put pressure on you okay that's gross this I just opened up my chalk paint and there's this big gloopy mess I'm gonna have to get a I'm out of wipes and I just don't ever think even when I go to the dollar store, I forget to get them. I'm going to put a base coat with this, uh, you know, I keep calling it chalk paint, but it's really not. It's acrylic paint, but it's matte. So it's literally like the same thing as chalk paint. I love it. It's very creamy. This is not deco art, which I love deco art, but this was available. I saw it. I liked the color and I grabbed it and I really like it. So... I'm not a deco art only, you know, I can use anything, but I do, I am kind of a creature of habit, aren't we all? And so when you find something you really like, you just stick with it and don't deviate too much, but I, I branch out every now and then. It's a great neutral color. Hello, Gloria. You don't like when you're, I know, me either, Patty. Do you have Chris with you? That's who I was thinking of. Um, you've told me that he'll say something about me. or I think it was you. Was it you? Um, thank you, Mary, for sprinkling. How are you today? Hi, Tony. Uh, Linda, we are making um, some kind of reindeer. If I have time, I'm going to try to go fast and, and get you an ornament as well. Give you an idea for an ornament. We have lots of events, guys, this week. We, um, Chris and, and Kathy with the Sparkle, the Sparkle Six have planned, you know, an auction on Thursday. There have been so many creators that also want to do something. So you're going to see multiple uh, events, multiple auctions. It will not matter, you know, if you if you want to to donate under another event it doesn't matter because it's all going to go to the Beck family so no worries on on that you know all of it is going to go to the same place but that's just how love they are and how many people want to do something and this is what we do so we are using our gifts to kind of help where we can and um, so you'll see a lot of different things going on and many of us creatives are sisters in the Craft Around the Clock group. So Sweet Tracy is going to even help with these events. Where's my lid? Where's my lid? What'd I do? What did I do? Y'all, this happened to me yesterday. What is going on? My desk is swallowing. Does somebody see my... Uh, my desk is swallowing my stuff. Okay, let's try this. Let's catch up to here. Hi, Lori. How are you today? Oh, Gloria, thank you. This is just a little craft, so no skill needed whatsoever. Anybody can do this, even kids. You are Cindy. I'm so sorry. Okay, guys. Cindy Newman has put a comment that she's having a hard time. I'm glad you're here, Cindy, because we all do. You know, you're not alone. And I try to get on here and show y'all a happy face and give y'all a little encouragement. But I go through the same things. And everybody in this feed is going to have those times. So thank you for telling us. And now we know to pray for you. 
and that goes for anybody on here. You know, if you're having a hard time, a hard day, or a hard situation in your life, you know, you know where to go to get lifted up, and you know who your safe people are that you can ask to pray for you. Um, please, I know it's hard to say I need prayer, but please do. Don't hold it in when people are happy to do it and happy to lift you up. And, you know, we all assume that everybody else is okay until they say, I need help or I need prayer. So um, I'm glad you're here. And things will get better. They always do. It may take time, but they always do. And just kind of hang out with us. And hopefully we will lift your spirits a little bit. Might as well go ahead and kind of keep on painting a few things and getting a base coat. I knew y'all would do it. I knew. And immediately I'm seeing prayers, prayers. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. You can take a little piece of whatever tape you have and just kind of, you know, you can line these up and do a whole bunch at once. I need to change this paper so I'm not going to be neat. I'm going to go ahead and just get this on here but this is a great little way to if you want to paint something and not hold it you can just kind of tape it down and then paint all around it like this I'm just getting a little base coat on some of these things that I might need to um, probably won't have time let's go ahead and we'll do this too just and see if we have time to do both I'm gonna hurry I love you guys I really do we have the best uh, community and if you are here and you're not a prayer and you don't understand all that, that's okay. <laughs> Stay anyway. But we do have lots of sweet believers that pray for each other on here. And I'm so grateful for that. Um, but we're here for everybody. Oh my goodness, Amber, I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness, I just am so sorry you're having such a hard time. We'll lift you up as well, girl. Um, so many, so many things going on and so many sicknesses out there. And oh, Mary, I love that. I love when you guys chit chat and find even a connection Lots of times I see, you know, like, oh, I used to live there and this and that. That's really cool. It's a small world. When you ask the question, like, where are you from or where did you grow up? You would be shocked how many people even might know somebody, like, in your family. or It's crazy. Okay, let's just give all this a quick dry. Y'all are the best. Look at this. Amen, Patty. Amen. Oh, yes. Thank you, Mary, for answering that. Appreciate you. <laughs> Mary White. <laughs> Listen, I got watered-down lemonade and tea, so they have not passed it to me. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Janet. Thank you, Donna. All of you guys. Caregiver, caregivers, get it to the, to the... Yes. Yes, Amber, you're right. It sure does go around, yes. And I think before you know you have it, it's already been passed on. and They ran out, did? <laughs> Okie doke. Let's do this one first. I use a lot of Tuscan red for my Christmas red, but you can use any, you know, any red you have. Um, I don't like berry red for Christmas. There, I have another one that I'm looking for and I don't see it. But... Nope, that's Tuscan. Yep. Okay, well, we're using Tuscan red and that's what I typically use for my Santas and everything. It's just a really good blue red which is my preference, but you can use anything you like. And we don't need much. I'll probably just do it out of my little cap here. 
so glad you guys popped in today even if you can't stay the whole time it's nice to stop by and check in and let us know how how it's going of course it's only monday but are you guys gonna be able to do some of the events this week you know watch some of the auctions and different things what do y'all think i should do anybody have any suggestion i have I have what I think I'm going to do, but I don't have to, I, my, my time is, is Thursday, so I have a few days to change my mind if I want to. But of course, I want to do something that will bring them the most, so my mind's going to glass art, but if y'all have other suggestions or of something in particular, look what a pretty red this is. I just love it. So it's a really good Christmas red. I am Cindy. I have been for a little bit. I know it's probably a hassle. So do y'all have to watch one to get on my live? I, I thought it was just on the replays. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Did you have fun yesterday? You're going to be in one on Thursday. Mary, which one? And I'm happy for you. I'm very happy that, that they somebody asked you or whatever. I guess we can paint this other red one. So I'm going to go right around here. And if I get it on my paper, that's okay because it needs to be changed. Anyway, I almost changed it before tonight, but it wasn't as bad as I've seen it. So I left it. And then we've got our buttons. I think I'm going to see how paint will do on one of these buttons just for fun. Um, da, da, da. only on the replays unless you're late. Oh, really? So if you're late on the live, you'll see the ad. I know I've seen that on other people's. I just didn't realize mine did that. You did? Well, I'm sorry, guys, but thank you for doing it. Really, I really appreciate it because that's how we get the income. And it is not much, but it all adds up. So happy happy now it may be more for larger pages so before I say that you know I don't know how it works I don't know what ratio they do or anything so if this was chalk paint it would go on here better because it's a plastic button but you did not Lisa good well I, I know it's a hassle but we are grateful Hi, Diane. How are you, my friend? Yeah, isn't that funny? Are you guys following me on Telegram? And do you get the alert? Um, you know, do you get a notification? Does it buzz? Because I have mine off all the time because I get messages all night long. So I'll usually turn mine off and forget to turn it back on. What? Who said that? How does she not have to watch them? That's hilarious. Interesting. You do, Anna? Okay, good. Good. I'm glad y'all are getting that. Um, and that helps. But yes, I know. I, I know. I Sometimes I'll get the notification and get on. Well, the person's been on for 10 minutes, you know. So, yeah, I don't know why. So we just will hot glue this on there and there's the little nose. I'm going to kind of let that keep drying. Let's use our sticks. And here's another thing that I had an idea. Now I don't know how it would work on here, but I have these finials and I was like, wouldn't it be cute to use finials? I kind of hate to waste them on this when you can use sticks, but the finials is a cute idea, right? So whatever you have, that's the thing. Kind of look at your supplies, get them out. See what you have, and, and it'll come to you as you're looking at your things. And um, I also got out a styrofoam ball because you can easily slice that in half with a sharp knife and then paint this red, and that would be a great nose. So just kind of think outside the box. Good. I'm glad y'all are getting on there. I do have it in the description of the video, so um, you can go there and click on it, and it will take you 
You have never had to watch any... You either, Arlene? Isn't that the funniest thing? I don't know. Y'all are lucky. It, it, do, it doesn't bother me because I know that person is getting, you know, a little bit of income. It's probably like 20 cents, 30 cents, not, maybe not even that much. But um, it probably isn't that much, but it's something. And then it adds up. So, yes, yes, have use what you have. So, I think I'll use sticks. Collect them from your yard, from your friend's yard. You know, if you see them on the median, not on the highway, but, you know, like as you're driving and you're seeing a bunch of trees with a bunch of sticks, you know, nobody cares. But why not? So, here's the thing. When I was thinking about this, I was thinking, have the, have the antlers and then have a bow up here. But the only Christmas ribbon I have available, and it's really, you know, not necessarily Christmas, it's just cute is this but what do y'all think do you like it because my christmas is still packed away i haven't gotten it out so it's packed away and i wasn't going to try to deal with that today with all i've had going on so y'all i see hearts yes thank you guys and hearts help me too i don't know why but facebook wants y'all to if you i guess if you are liking the content you'll give hearts is what they say so the top side and then cut it that way um y'all this is the easiest bow that you will ever make but i do these for like little girls or things you know like that um just because so you take your ribbon and y'all probably know this and just fold that one over fold this one over and then you just pinch it in the middle and that's all you have to do super super easy now grab a piece of wire any color for the ad sherry, usually, I think you have to watch some of it and then you can skip it, right? Who likes who the most? Is there a way of knowing who likes who the most? What does that mean? Who likes who the most? What do you mean? Because I don't know. I kind of just pinch it in the middle and then make sure that I'm kind of somewhat even. We can cut these, um, you know, cut them down more if we need to. But that's just my little simple, quick bow. If I don't want to mess with like a uh, totally, I mean a um, refabbed bow where you use a whole bunch of ribbons okay so let me let me kind of scooch this you can before you buckle it down just scooch it however you need to thank you christy the hearts help to know oh yes yes i think um what i what i heard from another creator was you know facebook wants to wants to help the creators whose audience is enjoying their content so if you're not getting if i'm not getting any hearts and nobody is commenting then facebook is like okay we're not going to put her out there because nobody is having fun i think that's kind of the premise of it that's what i how it's been explained by somebody who has a coach <laughs> that's telling them you know We all need a coach because it is too much to try to figure out on your own if you're not super into that stuff and I'm not. I would love to learn it if I didn't do what I do, but I want my time to go for this stuff, you know? So it's hard because I'd probably do better if I would learn it, but it's a lot. So anyway, that's what I'm thinking. What do y'all think? Do you like that bow? I think it's fine. Now, I think, do we put these on the back or on the front? I think on the back. So I'm going to turn this over and hot glue these babies down. And I'm going to have them a little bit. Can y'all see? Have them a little bit kind of cockeyed. So they're kind of going out a little bit. Yeah, I think so too, Christy. That was my thought. And it's it's very uh, unique, you know, like not everybody can just go out and you can go out and buy a painting anywhere. 
you can go to Walmart and buy a painting, but you can't just go out and buy that glass art. And I know a lot of people like it. Thanks, Annette. <laughs> Aw, Christy. Hi, Mary. How are you? Did we say your name, Tao? Like, I don't, I never know how to say your last name, and I want to do it right. Um, there's a, several names that I always wonder if I'm saying it right in my mind when I'm saying it, and I would like to know. Uh, da -da. Hi, Linda. Never be sorry you're late. I'm just glad you're here. Oh, Elizabeth, I'm glad you're here. Were you here yesterday? I'm always so happy when we have a new friend come on and, and we don't scare them off. <laughs> I don't scare them off. You see, I'm putting quite a bit because I don't want to have any issues with it coming off. I hope that these aren't going to be too wonky. Maybe I had that one a little bit too much. So before it totally dries, I can... And sometimes I'll even take a piece, like this is a scrap piece, and just kind of press that down. And honestly, it's kind of like for good measure, it just kind of helps hold it on there. This is obviously the back, so it doesn't really matter. Thank you, Aracellus. I appreciate you sprinkling, friend. Sure do. Sometimes y'all just shock me. Because sometimes, like yesterday, afterwards, you know, you go and... I was going through the comments and thanking you guys and this and that and it said I had like 39 people sprinkled. I was like, thank you. That's so great. Okay. I kind of like a monkey, don't y'all? I mean, I mean, obviously it's a reindeer, so it's going to be, so it needs to be cute and not too perfect. You feel like adding a Christmas scene? Okay. Yeah, or we have a lot of people that like that. You know, that's not my thing, but I do know what you're talking about. I've definitely seen things like that and seen, um, I actually have, have a little kit of things. I'm going to make a, I don't know about that. I'm going to make a Christmas tree with the shells and things that I had left over from a beach kit that I did. So I like the nose kind of down low and then we'll do some eyes and then that bow. So this I can just cut off since I don't really need the wire. You could if you wanted to uh, wire it on, you know, to I guess whatever, but I'm just going to put it right up here on the forehead. Once we get our eyes on, it'll be cute. And look how simple. And if you had kids or grandkids do one with you, they don't have to use hot glue. You could just help them or they could use some other type of glue. Thank you, Sherry, for the stars. Hi, Sharon. From I love that you're in the UK. Glad you're here. So what is it Tuesday over there? <laughs> Tell me the day and time. Yeah, good home. Yes, exactly, Trisha. Yes. Oh, Lila, you sweet thing. You would you would love it. You would love it. But that's okay. I'm just glad you enjoy what we do and that you hang out with us. And, um, you know, a lot of people enjoy watching, but they just don't enjoy doing. Look what I did. This was in my clean brush pile. I don't know how I did that, but we'll fix it. We'll, we'll fix it. Okay, grabbing my black. Oh, Valerie, you're too kind. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, Cecile. 
I think I saw this on Pinterest, to be fair. Um, this has been in my mind for a solid year. I had stuff to do this last year and just never did. So, um, I was in the mood today. We're, me and my daughter are both, like, itching to do Christmas and to uh, decorate and everything. <laughs> like, the first bit of cool weather, we're just like, Christmas! Okay, let's do some eyes. I'm, you know, I'm not a big uh, detail painter like Terry with painting with the robin's nest. Do y'all think this is about the right height for eyes? Let me know before I go any further. If you're like, no. You know, we'll have to give her some lashes. And again, this would be a cute painting, a cute card. You could do this on a can. So like save your cans or your glass jars, you know, if you like to to give kids ideas with recycling things. Um, do it on cardboard for kids, you know? You don't have to always have all the things. You can just make do, which is great to teach them, I'll tell you. my I definitely did that all my kids' lives. And I know my daughter has it. You know, she knows that if she's out of something, she can find an alternative. And it's hilarious because she used to kind of be, I'll just buy it, I'll just buy it. And now she's, you know, growing up and realizing you can't always just go buy it. Sometimes you need to be resourceful and find a way. Oh, let me do eyelashes. Yes, yes. Oh, thank you, Mary Wheeler. I'm not sure who said that she's a new follower. My grandson, Chase, will be. Will, oh, yes, yes, yes. Leveda, he will. Yeah, nail polish remover, mm-hmm, acetone, yes. It's Monday night, okay, so not yet, okay. 11.50, Sharon Aldridge says, nearly Tuesday at 11.50, wow. I hate missing the comments, I'm, I'm being nosy over here going, what, what's everybody saying? Hello, Brenda, large, oh yeah, that would be cute, Shelly to think if I have googly eyes. I do, but not large. Yeah, that would be cute, but we can paint them. Um, let me dry that. I guess I should move this aside and do one more real quick because we've got this one so we can just kind of start. Y'all look, I was thinking that would be a cute nose. I mean, it's just a little wooden, you know, I don't know. What are these? I don't know really what they're supposed to be for, but it's like a type of a finial or cup. Hello, Jeanette, Backroom Creations. How are you, my friend? That's too small, in my opinion. I kind of like a big nose. The button, we, we could cut this. Let's do it. Let's cut this. So, I have this little... <sighs> it's, it's supposed to be super, super sharp, but I've used it so many times on all kind of things that it's really not. And... It's not the sturdiest thing in the world, but I go down to Amazon and it, I'm probably going to get flagged by Facebook for holding the knife up, y'all. Um, our friend Brookie, you know, you guys see Brooke, I think it's Schumer, I'm not sure how to say her last name, but um, she is in Facebook, you know, jail for saying something so silly, but the, ro the robot, the bots that check everything, you know, they, they take it wrong and think that you're saying something bad and... She wasn't, but anyway, she's likely watching us right now, but she cannot comment. And, um, so, I don't know, what was I going to say about that, but, so that will be a cute nose. Let's just paint that red. And in this case, I'll grab something that I can poke it on, like a little stick from, this is just a stick from a, a pick or something. And we'll paint a little red. Dowel caps. Okay. 
So you put your dowel stick in there. I know, Christy. So silly. It's happened to me before, too. I was on Chris Hunter's live, and so nobody type this in the comments, or you'll get thrown in the pokey, but you know when your kids were little, and if you have two kids, and they're running out to the car, one of them says, I call blank, meaning I want in the front seat, but it also means a type of weapon. <laughs> So I said that I, we were talking about going on a road trip and I said, I called blank front seat and I was in the pokey for several days and I appealed it and said, you know, Hey, this was just a joke. You know, we all say that phrase. It doesn't mean any, you know, but it didn't matter. I still, they didn't, they didn't, uh, I did not win the appeal. So basically you just got to be real careful what you say. You do, Trisha. <laughs> you were on there. It's so funny. It's just, I, I don't think that much. Like, I try, but it's hard to think so much of what, what is this going to sound like? What could they misconstrue this for, you know? So, anyway. We're all trying to be really careful what we say all the time. Hello, Lynn. Glad you're here. We're making little reindeers. And honestly, I don't know about you guys, but I would enjoy getting one of these. Like, I don't think things like this are just for kids. I think if you gave this to somebody, they would love it. And I know that anyone in an assisted living or nursing home would love it because t most people like cute things. So even if it's playful and kind of what some people call childish a lot of people would still like that so you know it's a good thing to make on a rainy day and lift somebody's spirits you can tell them I'm going to give you your first Christmas item and take it to them I know my mom would have loved these things I used to take her a lot of things I made and she loved it acted like a kid you know but she had all summers if you don't know but um but even the people that worked there always loved all the stuff she got and just raved over it so people just like cute things okay now these things you can't really dry with your heat gun it will uh melt you know melt the styrofoam but i'm gonna go for it i'm just gonna do it anyway and hold it a little bit back so just so you know Yes, autocorrect can. Since they put the box to remove check and picture, you have to almost leave the page to get... Oh, yeah, I know. Laura, yes. Well, I know this pinned comment um, sometimes bothers me because it's like you can't get it out of the way and I still have not have taken the time to go figure out how to undo it. But... I'm glad y'all stick with me anyway. Thank you for dealing with all the little things that we deal with. Oh, Terry, thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. Kimberly, it's okay. Glad you're here. Happy Monday. Hope you've had a good Monday. If you have not, I'm glad you're here and you come on in and take a little break. I think I need to send y'all some little door hangers or signs that you can stick on your door that just say... I'm taking a break. It's happy hour. Taking a break. Come back. <laughs> yes, we do. We do. That's right. You need a nap, Diana. Do any of y'all have trouble sleeping? I have trouble sleeping. And um, my mind is just always going. Most creatives are the same. Uh, most creatives I talk to have the same kind of issues. And... Uh, so that dried it and it didn't melt because I held it pretty far back. Look how cute already just getting that nose on there. Happy Monday, Barb.
hopefully that will stay with just some hot glue. Yeah, I know it just kind of comes, doesn't it? I feel like a lot of women have issues with it. And yes, I know, Diane, I'm so sorry. Have you tried all the things? Because before we all start, you know, you know, I know you know what, but you know, honestly, sometimes somebody will name something that you hadn't thought of, or you just hadn't really taken the time to try. So, um, but coughing at night is a pain. What happened to the reindeer? We're let, we were letting the black eyes dry. We're gonna, we're gonna paint the white on next. So it's still here. I like it. I think it's cute. I think anybody, any age should like that, but that's just me. Not everybody does. Does it? Oh, once I'm asleep, I sleep good. It's just getting to that point. Yeah. I have too many things going in the brain and too many ideas and, excuse me, back pain and all the things that just kind of. I was kind of sitting here a minute going, now I know I have googly eyes. Maybe I should get them, but I think I'll just paint them. It's, it's basically an N that I'm making here, and the letter N, and then just filling it in. There's many ways to make, you know, eyes, of course. But those are just an easy go-to. So there's your letter N, basically. And just kind of fill it in. I've been trying to save this, so I better drink it now that it's happy hour. That's why it's so watered down. It really just tastes like kind of sour water at this point. Oh, Zena, don't we all, y'all, don't you wish everything was free? We could just hop on a plane, go to a beach. I'll bring all the craft supplies, all the art supplies. We just hang out and paint and relax. Somebody brings us all our food. Blakely, how are you today? Nice to see you, Marie. I'm glad you're here. Hot water and honey and lemon. That's what I do, Rosie. That's what I do. Does anybody else have any, um, uh, you know, amazing treatments that she hadn't thought of? I want to kind of even out these eyes, so I'm going to turn it toward me for a second. You know, as soon as you lay down, that's when it all starts and... That's pretty good. Pretty, pretty close. Joanne, we are making reindeer. I'm just, this is my last one. I'm going to get these two done just to kind of show you a couple of ideas and then you can wing it. You can use whatever you have. This is little stir sticks, paint stir sticks. And um, this just came at the Dollar Tree, just a little piece of a palette, I guess. But use whatever you have. Look around and see what you have. You'll be surprised. Sticks. And I have, um, I actually took the time when I was putting these up to put my small ones in here. So in some ways I'm really organized. I just need a little bigger space, I think. And then I'd be in good, busy, in good shape. But when your space is really small and you don't have a ton of storage, that's when it can get kind of messy so if i use this and cut that off that might kind of let's just see i don't know maybe i have a better one thanks anna they're just cute aren't they they're just kind of fun and salt water yes 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 oh lorraine i'm so glad you're here i'm glad you know that you i come back because i don't i do more than just little reindeer i i paint a lot and do Glass art is kind of one of my favorite things. Look back here behind me. Let's see, where are they? This way. Oh, can't get that to move. But right above my head, you'll see some of the glass art. So yeah, we do lots of things. Well, that stick's probably as good as any. So let me go look again. So if we cut this one off about right here. Hi, 
Terry, how are you today? Glad to see you, my friend. You can come in as your business if you would like. Terry is a fellow Craft Around the Clock sister. So this one, I'm going to try to cut this way because I want this Y right here. I'm trying to keep that. So I'm just going to cut these off a little. Okay, now I can glue these down. You'll see what I'm doing. Yeah. And I probably will take just a tiny bit of this ribbon. helps to hold everything to have this here but it's an extra step you do not have to do but I've noticed when I use something like this on the back seems like it really helps hold so I just if I have something handy I'll do it now you know those little lights that are like tiny 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 like the size of a tic-tac and you, you know what I'm talking about? They're on a little card sometimes. You get them at the Dollar Tree. Um, if you had those, how cute would those be in the little antlers, right? But I don't have any of those now, but I'll be kind of watching because I think that'd be super cute to, to put on here. Let's do a cute little bow. Oh, Terry, you've got grandkids. They would enjoy doing this. I actually have a little different ribbon in here. This is my Christmas stash that I have bought, you know, sort of recently um, so you can use whatever you have whatever you have but this might be cute I just that might be cute I'm gonna I'm gonna look let's look and see I have an idea that I might think is cute with this thanks Blakely now tell me you just had a granddaughter is that right am I right I think I remember seeing you say you had a granddaughter and fairly recently oh and I do have fabric I always recommend you know hanging on to this is like a pair of shorts like sleep shorts that my daughter had so I have used these before I've cut pieces off but look at the cute plaid so that's another cute thing you could use like with your ribbon or whatever A bow tie. A bow tie would be super cute. Y'all, you know what we need to do? We need to make a, a boy one like this and have the bow tie down here. It's been too long. Y'all aren't going to stay that long. Oh, yeah, it's been a while. But would that not be adorable to have the large, the two of them large and then have them hanging side by side? <gasps> yes, we need to do that. Oh, grandson is on the way in a few. So, you know, granddaughter, I don't know where I got that then. Well, congratulations on a grandson. That's so exciting. Boys are fun. Boys, to me, boys are easy. And I wanted, at the time, I wanted two boys because I did not know what to do with another, with a girl. You know, I had my son and then, you know, it was just like, oh no, I don't, when I found out it was a girl, I just thought, oh no. Boys were so easy to me, and I didn't know how it was going to be with her. She's, She was fantastic. And I tease her and say, if I'd had her first, I wouldn't have kept going. I would have been like, hold please. She was a handful. He was easy. So just going to kind of try to pinch this together. It's very tiny. I'm going to see how this looks. It may not be too, too cute, but we're going to see. Yes, congratulations. Such a blessing. And you know, guys, you know, I know we're all thinking about Randy and Beth this week and, and, um, and the horrible, horrible tragedy of losing. I mean, I just can't even, I don't even like saying it. It's just horrible. But then in the same week, you see something so joyous as, a new baby being brought into the world so we 
we have the good and we have the bad. So hang on, guys. You know, it's not bad forever. Some of you guys I know need to hear that. Taking this wire, wrapping it around the middle. The life here is not easy. We know that. We're not ever promised easy. We're just promised Him. We're promised help and comfort. And He knows and He's with us. If we're a believer. So, Okay, twisting that wire. Kind of have a little cute little bow. Let's see how we th what we think. Is that big enough? Yeah, that's not bad. Cute. I mean, it could be bigger. Blakely, I have no grandkids. No, my kids are not married. Um, I have two, a 26 and a 31. 30 or 31, y'all? 31? That's sad. Anyway, I know we're we're like <sighs> clock's ticking. I need to be in somewhat shape to play with the kids. I actually think it I think that, you know, I think the day is coming. I think I'm gonna add one more just a little bit, just a little bit longer, y'all. Hang on, don't leave me. We're getting there. Do two on the wood. Two bows. Is that what you mean? Two bows? Do you live near Beth? I do not. Beth uh, is in Illinois, right? Uh, wait. Hold on. Indianapolis. Yeah, Indianapolis, I believe. And I do not live anywhere. Yeah, I'm in Texas. If you were talking to me. Now explain. Somebody said put two, but I don't know what you meant. So if you explain, I'll, I'll read that. I'm just going to kind of build is what I'm thinking on this one. And make it a little bigger is what my thought was. Oh, good, Mary Beth. Well, I'm glad you're here. Yes, on the antlers. I know you guys that make bows for your daughters are probably laughing at me, but it's been a while since I've done that. Hi, Teresa. How are you today? How is your Monday going? Glad to see you. She's in Martinsville, Indiana. Yes. Um, I've just been so uh, in awe of our crafting community. I was telling my husband about it because, you know, we, you don't always see that. You just, it's just pretty special. And um, it just speaks to the people that we have that, that are here. And the way y'all step up is, it just kind of blows our minds, to be honest. It's just really amazing. Okay, let's, Teresa, if you're still on here, your little granddaughters could make these. Oh my goodness, they'd be so precious. Or you could make them for them. But yeah, I always just have dreams, guys. I have dreams of doing this kind of stuff with, with some little kids. <laughs> you live in Danvers, Massachusetts, Joanne. Uh, it's somewhere I've never been. Thanks, Christine. Oh, pigtails. That would have been cute. Yeah, you guys have the best ideas. Let's do the eyes. Let's kind of... Now, guys, like I said, I'm not... It's a mama and a... It's a mama and a baby. Now, we got to have the dad with the bow tie, right? Oh, my goodness. It's going to be a cute little family, y'all. Thank you, Arlene. It came out okay. Yes, Teresa, you should so do it. You should so do it. And you could even do that on a live and we'd all just be in heaven watching, you know, because it's so cute to watch kids. And I watched when y'all did your, um, your, 
I'm looking for my paint as I'm talking and I can't do both clearly at the same time. Looking for my white. I feel like I had it out. But when I watched your, um, no, not gnome, but what do you call the little fairy garden? Could not get that out. Fairy garden. They were so cute. And I know you were like kind of, you know, okay girls, but oh, we had so much fun watching them. And I remember the reel you did after was so cute. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's definitely hard crafting with kids. You really have to have it all ready right, you know, before and before. Oh, she is so cute. <gasps> okay, let's see here. How do we want to do them? Kind of looking at mom, maybe. So kind of like a little curve like this. Teresa, fill us in if you know anything I don't about something you need to share. Um, I know I was telling them earlier that we have a lot of events this week, so it didn't matter which one they support, try to support anybody they can. All of the proceeds will be going to the exact same place. We just want to spread the love and and help. I know she had a daughter and and help will need be needed, you know, her whole life. So um I don't know if you have anything you need to put out there, but you're welcome to. don't have words I really don't if I if I try to talk about it every time I just immediately tear and cry and I don't want to do that oh how cute Lisa I bet she did yeah and the way they talk is so funny you know they'll just say who knows what you're packing Leanne well good yes I bet you're exhausted when it's over Teresa because it's a lot you expend a lot of energy you know, it because it's kind of nerve-wracking, I'm sure, I'm imagining. So if this one's looking at mom, you know, we'll have this one maybe looking at her. Or, yeah. Do you guys have a, a theme that you do for Christmas? Like, do you have snowmen? Like, a lot of people will do like, lots of snowmen. Or, I know somebody has like a ton of nativity scenes. Do y'all have any um, particular thing that you do or have a lot of at Christmas? Oh, I love that, Lori. Art garage, how fun. Yes, absolutely. Oh, did she, Teresa? You're a safe person then. I love that. Yes, I mean, what a shock. I've always tried to remind myself, you know, that we there is no guarantee. But, you know, of course... You just can't. There's nothing you can do to prepare yourself, you know. It's just un unimaginable. And, and Teresa, I know you have seen this as well, just in comments of how many people have lost a child. Oh, see, here I go. I just... It's the worst. It's, it's just, there's, I don't know... 
you're just going to need a lot of support for a long time. But I have no doubt that they have it, you know, both at church and, and in this community and friends and... But just don't stop the prayers. I hate when I tear up and then start, my nose is running. Oh my goodness, guys, but we're almost done. We're just getting these eyes on. You could add some bling on here. You could add some glitter on the nose. Let's do that. I have some red glitter. We'll, we'll do that. Yeah. Oh, Glory, I'm so sorry. Oh, Barbara, no, I'm sorry. Oh, I just, oh, Lila. See, just in this bead, you guys, it's just, oh, I just pray God wraps y'all in his arms because I know that that you could think about her, them today and it flash back and just hurt all over again. Um, but, you know, you... Like, I didn't know that about some of you until today or yesterday or whatever. And, and then it just makes me think, look what God can do. You can be okay. You're not the same. You're hurt. You know, you will never be the same. But it does give hope to any of us who might have to go through that, that God can, you know, can give you joy again. It's going to be different. It's going to, everything will be different, but, oh gosh, y'all, that's so hard. I'm just, my heart goes out to all of you so much. Oh yes, Lydia, I know. I, oh, that's so fresh too. So sorry, you guys. Yes, eyelashes, Christy, thank you. Um, Nothing, there's just nothing that any of us can say, but we, f we feel it with you. And Hello, Sherelle. What a pretty name. 1977, I know, Luana. And I guess they just stay that age, you know, in your mind. That's just, that's just how you picture them and... Oh, goodness, y'all. I'm so sorry for you guys. I'm so sorry. Sorry that I get so emotional, but that's hard stuff. And um, you, you all amaze me how how lovely you, you people are to have been through so much yourselves. having trouble seeing at the sec at this moment but I think it's okay you know I, I get embarrassed when I cry because I do cry easy but but you know the Bible says we grieve with those who grieve and we do I mean Sorry. Oh, yeah, Mary, yes. I think you're right. I think twins have that bond from before birth, obviously. So, um, I can't, I, I mean, yes. I, I've, I've known some twins, and I've known how close they are. And um, we actually know one that lost his brother. And... It's a different, you know, there is just a, a connection that's undeniable that, that's just severed, and that's so hard. So I know that there's, thank you, Mary. I know that there is so much support, and just keep the prayers coming for him. Uh, let's see here. What was I trying to do?
Maybe we should call this craft therapy. But you know, I've said all along, this page, my business, what I do is so much more than art and crafts. It's so much more to me and it's it's about y'all and, and about us doing life together and being there for each other and and getting to know the ones that want to and then just still supporting the ones who are silent. I still pray for everybody regardless of whether y'all ever talk or not. So don't feel like, you know, she doesn't even know me. I feel like, you know, we have a connection because you're here and I do pray over everybody that's watching, so... I've got this little tear that is keeping me from seeing something. Hold on. Just hang in there, y'all. <laughs> y'all are so great. To, I'm sure my mascara is all over the place. Thank you for sticking with me. <laughs> it's a hard time, you know, when you have a crafting sister that you're hurting for. Um, and we want to get on here and be happy and positive and And we try to be. But, you know, we're hurting with her too. And um, so I'm glad that we can all just come together and be real. And I don't have to fake it. You know, we can be sad too. That's right, Mary. Tell you one thing. We can get through anything with him. We know that, so. And we know, we know Beth and Randy and their faith. They're going to be, they're going to be okay. We just don't want to see how hard they have to, you know, how hard it hurts and, and all of that. And, um, and, you know, holidays and. I'm just putting a couple of white dots in here, and then we're going to call it a day so that I don't keep sniffling on you guys. Yes, that's right. And I just remember the, the verse about, you know, we don't grieve as those who have no hope. They have hope. They know that they will see Ashley again and all the others who've gone before. And so that's the that's the the reason that we can go on because we do have hope. We we know that it's not life here seems like it's a long time, but it's actually a a quick you know just quick. That oh good, thank you, Patty. I'm glad they look good. How did they turn out okay with all that crying mess? Okay, so let's do some of this twinkles on here. I think it's going to be super cute to have the glitter. And then we'll we'll say bye. We'll say bye. Thank y'all for sticking with me so long. I might just finish up dad and do a, a daddy one. I don't know if I can keep going or not. And, uh, yeah. Sure, Christine. Tree and snowman. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you. Y'all are the sweetest people ever. Man, how did I get, I'm telling you, best community, not just on my page. I know you guys are all over. I see you other places too. Eyelashes, y'all. I said we were done, but I think I got to do eyelashes. This will be better with a smooth brush. Let me grab this one brush. Clean it off. Oh, I'm glad y'all like it. Oh, Lydia or Linda, I'm sorry. He prays every day. Oh, well, we can sure pray for him too. God can break chains that we just think there's no way, but we never stop praying because he can do it. Look at that glitter. Can y'all see this? 
hope y'all can see how pretty that is. Should have held it up so you could see the before and after. That glitter just is everything. And so easy to use. It doesn't make a mess. And once it's on here, it's on here. Once it dries, you won't ever find it in your carpet or hair or anything. So. Yeah, that's so cute. I love the glitter. So there's that. Let's do eyelashes really fast. Nothing fancy about them. We're going to take just a thin detail brush. This is a zero. And try to get your brush wet. I'm going to try to get my brush wet. I'm going to actually just use it right here. So I'm going to get my brush wet. Can y'all see this? And then kind of roll it. Thank y'all for the hearts. <laughs> kind of roll it so it's wet. I've added a little water and rolling my brush around so it gets real full. My brush will be very full of the paint. But then I'm kind of rolling it to get a point back in it. So just keep rolling it till you've got that point. And be sure it's not uh, dripping because a lot of times you're... Your little brush will carry a little water down here. Just be sure it's not going to drip on your project. And then we can just you know, kind of drag them out like that. Uh, let's see. She's little, so she's getting smaller ones. Okay, guys, that is really all you have to do. Oh, they're pretty cute for all the tears and all the trying to look through the tears. I think they turned out pretty cute. Do y'all see anything that they need? The only other thing we could do is add glitter to the um, branches, like the clear, you know, um, silver would be pretty or my clear. Can you guys hear me? realized that I've not had this on the whole time. Have y'all been able to hear me this whole time? I'm sure you have. Oh, thanks, Pat. Thank you, my friend. Just simple, simple, simple. You guys can so do this. This is just a fun little project. You can just brush this right on. It's got a paint. It's like clear paint and glitter very fine glitter i love this stuff for projects because it's so pretty because the glitter is so fine and once it's dry it's on there doesn't come off and we're just brushing it right on our branch if you for any reason are worried about it coming off or maybe you sell projects and you want to be sure it doesn't come off you can always go over it with a sealer like duraclear and seal it but I don't but you can so look at that can y'all see you have heard the whole okay okay good <laughs> okay good well that that's good to know it works far away well not far but okay guys I think this is the final touch I can't thank you guys enough for hanging out you know today was kind of weird but yet I think um, just have to be real and um, be here for each other this is a safe place for you and hope that you'll come back if you wonder what else I do head on over to YouTube and watch the other tutorials I have tons of all different kinds oh let me show you what you asked about the Christina okay y'all like it see the little branches cute okay 
so I think you said the tree and the hold up, hold please, hold please. The tree and the snowman. Tell me again, tree and snowman. A bell on the bows. Perfect. Yes, I probably have one, but not without digging in my Christmas stuff. Thank you, guys. Yes, go on, Teresa. I'm glad you're here. Oh, yes, glitter glue is deco art twinkles, craft twinkles. And um, I have pretty much all colors, but I use crystal and silver and red the most. But they have lots of colors. Um, Y'all tell me what she said if she's still here. I think Christmas tree and snowman maybe. But she may be gone. I don't remember who asked me about it. But I, it's, I bet she's gone. Because I've taken so long. Okay guys, well I'll let you go. Um, be watching. Tomorrow I'll be on, I believe at noon. So I'll be on. Oh, there she is. It was you, Christina. Okay, snowman and tree. Probably this one. I'm sorry if y'all had to see my, you know. <sighs> that probably wasn't pretty. Is this what you mean? Or maybe the other one. But anyway, this is just one of the snowmen on a canvas. Just painted. Simple painting. And then I was going to put a little bling here for the button. But I did put one here. Totally dazzled. And also, you can take an ornament if you have a real small ornament, you know, the ones that are small, and cut it in half, and then you can even attach it to your canvas, which is super cute. And then, I don't know which tree, but this is, this is probably one of my favorites. I just love the little gingerbread guy. And I am selling these, if anyone's interested. They range anywhere from 50 and up for this size. Um, these have been a big seller because they are just, I know it's hard to tell in this lighting, but they are so special for someone going through breast cancer because they've got the ribbon, but I've only got one left. And there's that. But yes, just visit my page or message me if you need something special. I, I do occasionally take custom orders, uh, if I'm not too busy, you know, it just depends, so let me know what you need all right guys thank you guys i appreciate it thank you for being here you guys are amazing amazing people and amazing community and you are not alone i know i hear justin say that i've heard others say it but you're not alone so you come and hang out with us anytime you can if i can help you let me know just send me a message uh, but i'm praying for you guys specifically who also know the pain that the becks are feeling um you know the rest of us are lifting you up as well so thank you for sharing that in the comments if you could you know you don't have to anybody's out there there's going to be others that don't want to share that's okay um, but we're lifting you up there's a group of us who really are serious about lifting up people who come here so thank you for being here i appreciate you all thank you for everything you do for me and i will see you tomorrow bye bye